Hi, this is Stephen KME, part 17 of the BMW E36 build. Today we'll get the um, wiring harness uh, from the Motec into the engine bay. The last little few things at the throttle leakages finished off to hold uh, the, the bits and pieces needed. And then the car will be on its way to, uh, to Warrigal to have that all fitted off. So this is the wiring for the Motec. It's gone up. It's going back into the compartment that the original uh, E36 engine computer was in. And there it is coming through there. It's on the firewall of the 36. This is the wiring harness for the Motec. Lots and lots of wires. So this wire is going to run into the cabin. And this is the ele electronic kill switch wire. They're only using this as the original BMW uh, wiring shroud. And there's the finished cover off coming into the standard BMW cover in the standard BMW conduit. Up to the rest of it, which is going to be done by Les Collins Racing. I, uh, I'll leave that all to him. Testing the electronic reel, I just fitted. That looks good. So after the Motec wiring is being installed, we've got a couple more pieces to make to hold the fuel injectors into the uh, inlet manifold. So the little aluminium pieces I'll make up, we're about to start that.
Well, there we have it, on the trail ready to go. First time in three years that they've been out of the shed. Ready for our road trip to Warrigal. BMW off to Les Collins Racing. The cars and the trailer at the back. Got the all set up, all the bits and pieces extra that I needed, needed to take. Um, so hopefully, when we see it again, it'll be a running car. There's Collins Racing. The uh, van is finally made it out of the shed to a different factory. And uh, they're going to do the engine the wiring and a few other bits and pieces for it. So here we are at Les Collins Racing. There's the, the BM. This is over to where they do the wiring harness and so on. This is Steve, another Steve, doing the uh, you got another little project on the way there. And the, uh, you've got obviously all these wiring across the top there and very well set up so it's uh, ready to do whatever's required. So uh, anybody who wants any ECUs wired, this is the place to come to. So the BM is uh, at Collins Racing now as we speak, waiting for it to come back. Um, when I was there, I would have loved to have shown you more uh, around the place, but there's a lot of customers' cars there, and uh, without getting permission off every person to show their car, you really can't do that. And I'd rather not uh, show people's cars, other people's cars, without them knowing about it. Uh, I think it's just a courtesy we should have. Um, but uh, the part we're in is just the one part where the electrical happens there's uh, an engine building engine and gearbox building section to it as well and uh, yeah very very clever guy these and uh, so the cars there waiting for get going back uh, so consequently this is quite a short video and uh, we'll get it back soon and then as soon as it comes back it'll be quite exciting because we can start putting all the mud guards the bonnet the doors the glass in it and so on and start to make it look like a car and uh, some pretty awesome looking um, artwork I've got on it for it. So it's going to go to the, uh, when it comes back and gets assembled, it'll go to the uh, guys who do the, do the vinyl wrapping and so on and get that done. So looking forward to that. But anyway, that's, this is the end of 17, and, um, or part 17. And uh, we'll uh, look at, uh, see you all next time. And hope you enjoyed it. And like and share and all that stuff. And, uh, See you around. Bye.